welcome back guys and um, today i'm happy to be with you once again i'm happy to have your patience from the first store after this one too slow but much functioning the best po uh, the best thing is that we are learning something new every time we are you are watching this tutorial so guys i don't want to waste much time here but let's just get started right away so guys in this tutorial i want to show you how to calculate an average edge of uses or whatever category you have edge uh, average doesn't mean edge only but whatever you want to calculate the average it's, so, it's much important that whatever you get you put into practice i hope you've been practicing all the tutorials since the beginning and now it is high time that we get to something new we've been talking about operators getting an input from the user now we're going to combine the two idea to form what you call calculating the average edge for much time i'll be calculating the average edge but for you say your side you can calculate what we call you can calculate the average maybe the, in the week well, how much do you consume you know some of us like making budget like if you don't want to make budget for your work it means you're gonna be freaking making messes so it's much important that whenever you want to do something it's good to calculate and to, to achieve to, to reach to the basic way of consumption or expenditure is is that you'll be using your average so guys let's start i hope you're doing fine once more okay so like I wanna try to make some kind of stupid variables here so then you get to know what I'm trying. Like you're gonna save ourselves from much typing and getting more input from the user but just using a single line uh, or a statement that gives us all we want, alright? So that's what he basically gonna be talking about in this tutorial. So let me ma let, let me make some stupid tutorial like int e, alright? Then int r sorry int r is supposed to be space here and again maybe let's say integer t right so those are like the kind of integers that one then i say like int e is equals to 78 okay let's let me say integer e is equals to integer r which is equals to integer t which is equals to 98 all right so that's what I'm trying to say. So for this case, the compiler you want to understand it this way. I want guy, I want you guys to pay more attention here because whatever you're saying a variable to a particular value and say that the variable is equivalent to another variable is so much important because the compiler will be seeing it in the way. So you may forget what you did uh, co command the computer. Some people or programmers may sometimes repeat giving and the, uh, the, the 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 compiler. To, to fetch input from the user so that's not much it's a little bit crazy but this is what gonna happen so the computer wanna read this from right to left not the way you understand that when I be taking e as equals to r it wanna take 98 is equals to variable t so variable t is 98 then again say that variable t this one is equals to variable r so r and t is 98 so r is equals to 98 again we're gonna take variable t is equals to variable e and the r is equals to 98 so e as well is equals to 98 so guys let me try and show you this so let's print this uh let's print this uh, 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 statement and see what's gonna happen so let's say percent d we say maybe let's say tab percent d tab percent d all right and what we want to print is here we're going to be having tab what we're going to print is comma we want e comma r comma t so that's what we want to print so guys let's test out this one and find out if what you're talking about is making a little bit all sense i told you to compile a drum to build and run is f9 so simple are efficient forever developing a program but let's see what gonna happen to this one and time you assign a variable equivalent to another variable yeah my for computer is pretty slow that's why nothing is happening but just be patient on what i say because we're used to it to be slow that way so like you said 98 in 98 98 perfect so guys that's what i'm talking about that like, whatever we make whatever you want to do is equivalent to another variable the compiler want to read it the same way you mean it it doesn't want to take it into a different way just where like we're talking about math operators the way you understand the body mass is the computer understand the body mass 
all right so now let's make some uh, meaningful code to uh, calculate the average age so let me say uh, average age is average is of course age cannot be just exact height like an integer so we're gonna use float all right so you're gonna use maybe float age one all right age two age three and let me say age four much important and then and then i say age two is equals to age let me say age sorry is equals to age four yeah and is equals to age let me say So I make one, two, three, four. So age two is equals to age four, which is equals to age three, right? So let me use that, that one. So like that is our formula, and age three is equals maybe to thirty-seven point six, right? It can be height as well. It can be whatever you want to calculate. Like you have money on Monday, it can be now my age will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like, how much have you been earning the whole week? So, you want to create the average of your earning, still can work here. But for my sake, I'm just using age. So, let me say printf. So, you want to make this program a little bit uh, interactive. So, you want to uh, tell the user to enter his or her age. Let's say enter your age right so we're gonna say enter your age we're gonna break it to a new line so that it looks a little bit fascinating so that that's what that's uh that's what the message that will be prompting the user to enter something on the uh, on the screen and they're gonna scan if it says kind of the one used to get input from the user so it's gonna be percent f comma must use an embassy Edge one. I think edge one is not inclusive in our first program, all right? So it's okay. And then you're gonna say printf. Like this is a, we're gonna give uh, an output, of course. Like after mathematical calculation, you must give an output. So for this one, let's try this one. Say the average group edge is, and you're gonna say percent f. You're gonna be here say average so you may be asking where is my average so my average i want to come here and say average is equals to age one let me add some brackets here when you add some brackets here and say divided by three so you're gonna be age one plus age two plus age three plus age four so like that is our age average age formula so that's what that's the program so guys let's build and run so build and run is f9 f9 i'll be running a program so like this one's telling us that whatever we have done here like average it, is not equal to that one don't know what it's trying to mean is undeclared here of course when must be having adding this variable here because you're not declared this variable so let's say average right so like that is our our new variable so control uh, is f9 here is missing a comma so those are just common errors we make in our daily programs to be developed programs so that's the program we've been talking about let's wait and run my computer is freaking slow but that's why nothing is happening but be patient with me you're gonna see how the program is interactive we see the first one 37.6 all right so you're gonna input like enter your age so i want to be inputting my age and you see how you're gonna be calculated at 7.6 plus that 7.6 plus that 7.6 Plus my age that I want to put, and you get the average. So enter your age. My age is 20 years. So don't be worried. I'm not that much old. So the average age of the group is 44.066. That one, okay. So like we're gonna, get, we are having that one like an average. Try with your own calculator and say that 7.6 plus that 7.6 plus that 7.6. That's the age two, age four, and age three. 
plus 20 divided by 3 all right so like you see it's so much far away because we're supposed to divide it here by 4 all right because it's four, uh, it is 4 not 3 you're sorry I'm sorry about that like, like I did not see f9 is to run build and run in car blocks it's, not, it's nice that you know the short keys of a program we accept yeah, an, uh, an average edge of around less than 37 it should be less than 37 of course so when I've been putting my age like 20 years when I see because 20 is so much far away from 37.6 some uh, we expect a little bit below so I enter your age my age is 20 years so the average age is 33.1999 whatever 7 so the program is running fine guys you can see whatever I want but if you want to edit that I say we can only be having an edge of such a lot of, of values you can say 0.2 that is mean two this to two decimal places you're gonna build and run using F9 you can see that Whatever it brought in this program, we are putting it to uh, to output the average edge into two decimal places. All right, so it's so much important to understand some of these things. My computer is pretty slow, but you just have to bear with me and wait until it responds up accordingly. Yeah, enter your age. My age is 20 years. You're gonna expect a 3.20. So you can see that our program is running like previously it was 33.199997, but here it is 3.2. So I did the round off. So you can see that our program is running fine. I'm not even having so much important. So, guys, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you something new by dealing with the same same concepts to how to again perform all the functions in one, st in one statement, one line overcode and make your program better so guys thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't done so like and share to your friends make learning more important introduce Alameda Amazolo to your friends to make them too computer literate in the programming see any more uh, objects to come in the next line of sorrow thank you guys for watching subscribe thank you so much